Hi, I'm Stephen Crow, and today I'm going to show you how to paint this simple little Scottish landscape scene. But first, let's have a look at the materials. These are my colours. I've got ultramarine, cadmium yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. I'm using the large Ron Ranson 8 brush and 15 by 11 watercolour paper. So I'm going to start off, this is just clear water all over the paper. And then I'm going to go, let's, let's say, a bit, of, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lizard crimson, and go back some of that in. Or lizard. I'm trying to keep this area fairly light, so I've got quite a high horizon line. And then that's coming down there, something like that. It's going to go across there. A little bit darker down there. Let's clean the brush. I want to get a really light colour on there now. I'm just going to go straight into that cadmium yellow. Back that in while it's on there. Get the lights on, and then I'll get some darker colours on. There's a bit of a bit of ultramarine. Right now, back into the sky area. Just want to try and get a bit more drama going on up there. So I'm just going to go lizard in crimson, ultramarine. Flicking it in like that. A bit more colour. Let's have a bit more. Bit more alizarin. Push some of it into the into the land area. It's going to be a little bit of shadow area down in this bottom left hand corner. A bit more lizarding. Just get a bit more into the sky. And what I might do, just take a bit of tissue and let's just pop a few little clouds in there. Like that. I don't want to get too barmy, I'll just erase everything I've just painted. Right, so, see the paper stretch a little bit, hang on, I'll just soak that up at the bottom. Right, now let's just refix this over on the uh, on this right hand side. Just so it's flat against this 9mm piece of plywood that I use, leaning against the easel. Okay, there's just a bit, just a bit of paint just dripping down, so I'm just going to turn it to a cloud just to stop it from dripping anymore. And then what I'm going to do is do a fairly dark horizon line. So I want it to contrast nicely against the light in the sky. So I'm giving the same colours as the sky, lizarding, ultramarine, a bit of paint grey in there to really darken it up. And then something like something like that I think this is a quite high horizon line this time I'm going to dip over there like that and go up up somewhere over there that's about as much far down as I'm coming with that, I think. Then I'm going to switch, I'm going to clean the brush. I want to get back to a more sort of greeny colour. I'm going to try a bit of, just soak that up at the bottom. A bit of raw sienna, cadmium yellow. Let's just pop that in there. I'm just touching that darker colour, just so it blends into it nicely. Bring that over there. 
It's going to be a little bit dark, a bit more shadowy, so I'm going to have a bit of ultramarine to it. Probably a bit of Payne's Grey as well. Really dark, isn't it? A quick sweep across like that. And we've got sort of shadows cutting across this lighter area. Over there as well. A bit more paint, a bit of alizarine, not alizarine, um, ultramarine, cadmium yellow. And what I might do, just darken this enough. I'm just going to scrape in a couple of little cottages, I think. Let's get some cottages in. So, I've got my piece of card like this, and all I'm going to do. Pull down like that, there's the roof. Same on the other side. Just put down on that. And then I'm just going to pull down the, this is the front. Yeah, just get that level. There's the front of it. There's the side. And then a little, little chimney on the top. And I'll just put in another one behind it. Now this time, went that one. I'm just going to turn it around so it's a bit narrower this time. It's probably going to be there like that. Straight down. Slightly different angle. And then just pull down the front. That's all I'm going to do for that one. I'm just going to have the two there, I think. I don't need two bar, mate. Let's clean the brush. Let's get back to a lighter colour again. Let's just say raw sienna. Just pop a bit of that in there. Bend that in. Slinner. Again, don't want it to get dark. This time let's go cadmium yellow. So it's trying to get that balance between lights and darks. Keep it keep it interesting. Now what I definitely need, I need some sort of pack or something. I'll get back to those eggs in a minute when they're dry. But now, I'll leave them alone until a bit later. It's just, I'm just making sure that this is flat again. So, back to light. Now it's a little, little bit darker. So I'm having a bit of ultramarine to that cadmium yellow, a little bit of Payne's grey. Again, I'm just going to sweep that across there like that. Down there like that, just, just playing with light and shadows and you know like you see in real life just bits bits of light everywhere, bits of shadows. I'm gonna put a path in, it needs really needs a path, somewhere to guide the eye. So I'm gonna clean the brush, you know, a bit of red, a bit of blue, mix those two together. And then, it's, I think if we went to one of the houses, I think it would be a good idea. So red, blue, and then across there like that, and then right through into that foreground area. Right, let's go a bit more. Just yellow. I've just gone yellow on its own. That'll just mix with what's already on the uh, on the paper. Let's just push that over there to there. Just have a few little, a few little blocks and stones, just to line, line it slightly, just to emphasise that path a little bit. Don't want to do too many. Just the odd one here and there. Maybe there's a bit of mud. It's going to be a bit of burnt umber. A bit of mud scattered about the place. Some 
Look there. And what I think I want. Give that a pretty, just a very quick dry. I'm just going to stick some fence posts in, so I'm just going to go burnt umber, ultramarine, just any dark colour. And let's just have them going somewhere right down to the path. I mean, what you can do, see if you put it on thick enough, put it on like that, and then a bit thicker like that. And if you imagine the lights coming down there, you just pull. I mean, it doesn't always work very well, it depends. So I'm just pulling it down. Just looks like sort of little shadows cast as the light's coming down there like that. Let's put a few little cross pieces in. It's certainly not um, foolproof this method. You can just pop them in if you like, pop this, the shadow things in. If they're too strong, just wipe your finger over them. That'll be all. I'm going to mess out with that too much. Let's just pop some little tufts of grass. Bit of brown, bit of blue. Just going into that raw sienna. I don't think that really helped. Just get my finger in there, scuff it up a bit. This is just it's a bit rubbish, doesn't it? I think it's I'm looking for a little things just happening here and there. Just a bit of interest in the landscape. Let's put some colour on that roof. What colour should we go for? It's um let's go for a lizard. Bit of a lizard, bit of blue. Some little windows in any sort of dark colour. I'm just going to pop some little windows one there, one there, one there, and a big door. And then one there, one there, one there, another big door. Needs a figure, really do need a figure there, I think. Let's just go a bit of, bit of red, bit of blue, and then someone just, just on the way home. It's a bit more red. And a bit, of, a bit more blue on the bottom. That was too thick. Too much paint on the brush then. Behind him, and then just put that a bit thick on it. Just 
so that they're behind them. I don't think I'm a million miles away now. I'm just going to... Let's just stick a couple of little birds. One there, one there, so a few more. One there, another one up there. And I think I'm going to call that one done. I'm just going to sign it at the way down here. Well, that's that one for you. So let's see what it looks like with the main sun. So there's our painting with the main sun. So if we go and have a closer look at it, got a very high rising line with this one. And I've tried to keep this lit area in this uh, this section there, just to contrast nicely against this really dark mountain or big hill peak. A few little diff different colours in the skies, predominantly sort of ultramarine. A bit of light red, lizard crimson, a little bit of raw sienna, and then that was using the same colours as this mountain here. Just to try and create a sort of light effect coming down. The landscape's a mixture of lights, like this area and darks. Try to create sort of, sort of um, you know, bouncing between light and shadow. Try to vary the land, the, the greens and the yellows and the browns as much as possible to try and keep it interesting. Same on the other side. Um, put it, it dark, added a bit of ultramarine to dark and then cleaning the brush and then just going straight in with cadmium yellow, try and create some lighter areas. We've got our path here that leads towards sort of focal points of our little man and his dog walking towards his, his little house there. Both ends. It's very simple. You just scratched in using the card, and then use the other side to do this one here, just to make it look a little bit smaller. Paint the roof, and then just just some dots really for windows. Little big, uh, well, pop a little door on. Same for the other one. Here. Just a few little dabs with the rigger brush to create the windows. Then put the door on. You've got a little little cottage. Although I did forget to put the chimney. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.